Hello everyone, Only Draven here again, and today we're doing another tutorial in Minecraft Sky Factory 4. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to make and use the Seismic Vibrator and the Seismic Reader, both from the Mechanism Pack or mod included in this mod pack. Uh, now, if you find this video helpful and you like it, please be sure to click like. But most importantly, please remember to hit that subscribe button. That way you can see all my videos and tutorials as they come out. Okay, so uh, to build these two components, we'll start with the seismic vibrator. And for that, you're going to need two basic control circuits, one steel casing, one lapis, and five tin ingots. And then for your seismic reader, you're going to need an energy tablet, one lapis, and seven steel ingots so not too hard to make now in sky factory this uh device this setup isn't as useful because its purpose is to basically look into the ground and tell you what is beneath you sky factory of course there is no ground at least on this primary world so to take a look at how this works we're going to go ahead and jump into the um lost cities area using a lost cities cake so we can get a better look at how this works so let's check that out Okay, so here we are inside one of the many different domed areas that you can find inside the Lost Cities, and we're going to show you how these devices work. So uh, we're going to start down by dropping a power source. Now for this, I'm just using a creative energy battery. Any RF source will run this device, so, so a battery or any of the different uh, generators that are in-game. You can use the RF source of your choice. I have an extraction cable, energy extraction cable coming off of that, so we've got a place to put it. And then I'm going to go ahead and drop this seismic vibrator. So the seismic vibrator, two blocks high, little animation where it's pounding up and down. Now you can right-click on it, and it's going to show you the area you're in, what it's vibrating, and then the RF power that you've got running over here. So really, you can just set that anywhere. And what it's going to do is it's going to basically tell us everything that is on this block going straight down all the way to bedrock. If you were in regular, of course, Sky Factory has, doesn't really have bedrock, uh, but this will work on any of the zones either here in the Lost Cities or in the Twilight Kingdoms. So now you're going to use your seismic reader. And by right-clicking on that, it's going to show you everything that's beneath. So it's saying the top block underneath your seismic vibrator is grass, and there's two dirt, two stone, and you can go ahead and click downward to see every block that is beneath that seismic reader. So the purpose of that is this right here. As you can see, getting down to 54, there's some iron there. So if I'm looking for iron, that's an easy way to say, okay, here's some there. This could work for some of the other ores you're looking for, maybe diamond, boron, things of that nature. So instead of just digging straight down, you can look for some of these nodes uh, wherever you go. And that also then you could vein mine and, and be able to do a, a lot of different stuff down there. Go ahead and change this real quick. Switch back to daytime. So, um, again, and you can use multiple of these or you can pick it up and move it again. That's perfectly fine. We're going to go ahead and just drop it on the other side and see what it looks like over here. Same situation. We'll go to our reader. Our reader, of course, is going to say there's abundancy two. So, we want to make sure we look right. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that first one so that way we're only looking at the newest one. And here, much the same, except now, of course, you see there's a, some different ores as we're going down. Now we see there are three irons. So again, this will just give you an, a chance to look down, and underneath that's more stone, all the way down until bedrock in a regular game or in Sky Factory until you reach the bottom of the domed area that you're in, which normally is going to be some type of clay or terracotta is usually the bottom. But um, again, a very, very easy thing to do. Uh, so, yeah, very easy to use. Uh, once you have the reader, uh, you can just move this around as much as you need and it allows you to look for items and such that are uh, underground. Now, why is this useful? Well, even in, in a regular world of a Sky Factory, I mean of uh, Minecraft, you may be looking for underground dungeons or fortresses, uh, things of that nature. Uh, this would help you find something like that. So say you were using the um, Eye of Ender trick to try to find a underground fortress so you want to go to the the end for example um, even though the pearl will give you approximate areas and keep leading you there when you get there you could drop one of these to look underneath and see if that's where it is so that way you're not digging down blindly uh, but overall a handy little device to have um, sky factory not as much so but it does have its purposes uh, so hopefully it's something you enjoy using 
Let's head back to the overworld. All right, and back here in the overworld, again, even if I want to use it on my build, drop that there. Use the seismic reader. As you can see, that underneath of that piece of wood, I have one piece of polished andesite, and then it is just space moving from that point. So again, um, here in Sky Factory, this device is not as useful unless you're looking for some of the specific ores in Lost Cities or Twilight Kingdoms. For us. So um, that's going to do us for this tutorial. Uh, now, if you find this tutorial helpful or useful, um, be sure to let me know by putting a comment down in the comment section, as well as if you have any questions or recommendations for other tutorials you'd like to see in Sky Factory 4. I'm always looking for new ideas. You can also go to my website, onlydraven.com. And there at the bottom of the homepage is a place where you can submit questions or requests or feedback via email. You'll also find a link to all my tutorials and videos. You're also going to go ahead and find my streaming schedule, links to all my social media accounts. I highly recommend following me on Twitter, which is at OnlyDraven, the one I use the most. Uh, you'll also find links to my different podcasts as well as um, the ODG store. Uh, and on the ODG store, you'll find a bunch of cool Only Draven gaming merchandise. Uh, so definitely recommend checking out the website whenever you have a chance. It does have a lot of great resources. All right, well, that is going to do us for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.